Hello, I'm Bonnie and welcome back. This is another one of our member highlight series. This has been so much fun and I'm very excited about this episode because today we have my friend Connie Lung, who I have known. Connie, I think I've known you. I feel like I've known you forever. I've known you at least a couple of years uh, and you've been you have been such a positive and supportive voice online for so long and like everything that you like you you're always just saying nice things and I just love the energy that you bring and so more and more I've been kind of trying to get bug you and like get you on camera and we just had you on angular air uh and now um now we get to interview you so how are you doing so uh you want to start just tell us a little bit about yourself oh yeah uh so my name is Connie I'm a front-end developer like based in Hong Kong so I've been using Angular to build application for three and a half years. So recently I've been moved to a Vue team. So I've been using Vue 2 to build application for uh, NGO customers. And I've also like ventured into backends and my favorite like technical stack is Nest.js. So I've been using Vue and Nest.js and Postgres to build an application for my employer. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's start. So I have these questions that I'm asking everybody. And, and it's funny because uh, they're the same questions, but the answers are completely different. So uh, what? let's just start at the beginning. How did you get started as a developer? Did you ever, did you like know that you were going to do this? So, okay, my mom, like, okay, it started when I was six years old. So my mom, like, sent me to community centers, like in Hong Kong to learn programming. So my first program was Hello World in Quick basic. And Sounds then, like me and Samantha. I was like, you yeah, need to I, learn this, Samantha. Yes. And then uh, I learned Turtle at 10 years. So I didn't like programming when I was like a kid. And then five years later, when I was 15 years old, my family moved to Toronto, Canada. Mm -hmm. And I didn't speak good English at the time. So I was studying in public high school. I flung all the subject except computer study grade 10. So I was wow. getting like, like with probably like C or D in English, but A plus in computer study, like using uh, Turing and Pascal to write like program. So I was my teacher's like favorite like student in the class. So when I was 15 years old, I decided to be a programmer. So I enrolled into university to study computer science, graduated from university with a bachelor degree in computer science, software engineering option. And then I moved back to Hong Kong and I've been um, a developer for like 15, 16 years. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. So you had a thanks, lot of experience mom. even before you started with Angular. Yeah. Thanks, mom. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a perfect segue to our next question. Uh, did anyone help you? Okay, so we know your mom uh, definitely led you down this path. Anybody else that, that made a difference for you in your programming journey? Maybe my sister. So she was, um, she's a programmer in, in Canada. And then she studied computer engineering. But then when she graduated from university, she became a um, computer like programmer. And I saw her like excel in that field. So I, I was very confident that I could do the same thing when I graduated from university. I mean, we, we have the same parents, right? And we are both smart. So if she, if she was successful at that time, I should be like that when I become her age. So yeah, so I went back to Hong Kong. I quickly like, found my first job and I tried like C-sharp, Java, um, like JavaScript, like Ang Angular, like, and all kinds of uh, like technologies and frameworks. How's your? How do you get along with your sister now? Are you guys like competitive? Do you, are you like on the same level? Do you compare notes? Do you? Well, we don't talk about work. We just like message each other on like our birthday and like on like Chinese like holiday, like Lunar New Year, like Christmas to make sure that like she's okay and I'm okay because we don't see each other a lot. We like I, I was in Toronto last year, so we spent a few days. She was busy like like doing stuff like for work, like having meeting with um her colleagues in India or Rom or Romania. She's very successful. So she's working for Adobe. I don't know if she's the team lead or or any senior position, but I 
very proud of her because she she's a minority and then she's able to hold down a permanent position in a very big company for such a long time. Wow. That's yeah. great. What's yeah. her name? Winnie. Winnie. Winnie All right. Lai. Shout out to Winnie. Yeah. But she's not like me. She doesn't, she's a very private and family oriented person. She doesn't like go to Twitter and talk to like important Maybe we people shouldn't in do a community. shout out. Well, we'll just say that, uh, that she's, that she's great. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next question. What do you, do you have a programming playlist? What do you listen to when you code, Connie? Do you have a, like a specific thing? I usually listen to like Angular podcasts. So Adventure in Angular, NG Houston, um, Angular Air. So I, one, like, I think a long time ago, I wrote a tweet that I, my favorite day of the week is Thursday because I, can um, stop working for two, three hours to watch both like Angie Houston and uh, Angular Air at work like back to back. So I I, I, I love Thursday. And then recently, um, I love uh, all the monthly meetup of uh, Distort Media because I, I want to learn uh, GraphQL and I love the GraphQL contribution it's a contributor day and the mm-hmm. monthly uh, meetup uh, by Eva Postsalo and and her husband. Sorry, I forgot his name. So yeah, so I I love every like podcast of uh this dot media and um, I love Tracy. She's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I have an interview with Tracy scheduled next week. Actually, uh, yeah. yes, I do agree. She's wonderful and she's doing so much cool stuff. Uh, for the community. Yeah. So yeah, she's cool people. I know. Uh, okay. Next question. What do you do uh, when you have, if you have those days, I'm sure we all do when you just are not feeling it. Uh, how do you focus if you're trying to just push through something that you're not, that's, you know, boring or tedious or hard. Uh, do you have any like strategies? I don't have any strategy. If I, if I have a bad day, I just get up, leave the office, have a, a two hour coffee, like a Starbucks or Pacific coffee. And I go back and try to do whatever thing I can to finish the task or make a start, go home, get some sleep, go back to tomorrow and look at it with like with a different perspective. Normally that that works for me and I'm able to like find a solution to the problem and proceed in a much better like um, progress. That is a strategy. That's a very good strategy, actually. It took yeah. me years to figure that out, but uh, but it helps a lot. Just take a break, come back when you're fresh, hung, eat if you're hungry, sleep if you're tired, and then you can code again. Yeah, it's a very good strategy. Uh, okay, I think we already talked about this. What is your experience? I, I don't know what 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 uh, level of what what level what version of Angular did you start with? Oh, I started at one point. Five, that okay. I have to thank a very, very like good friend of mine in Hong Kong. So I back in two thousand fourteen, I was at a very like traditional company, working as an in house software. I was using like Visual Basic and Fox Pros to maintain like application. Um, we're using Java one point two or one point three. I hated that job, so I was learning like. Angular JS in my free time, and I wanted to p- pursue a, a career in a, S- a JavaScript, right? JavaScript and and SPA uh, or front end career. So I sent out like CV to recruiters, but they didn't uh, want to like look for work for me because my CV wasn't very like pretty at the time. Well, at that time, I found out that my friend is a uh, is a back end engineer of a software company in Hong Kong and uh, they had an opening in um Angular like opening in front end like a, a J an Angular JS role that use uh like ES6, Angular JS and CoffeeScript to build front end application. So I asked him to like to see if I could get an interview, like to see if I could land a position there to work with him to learn with other like smart people. 
so I, well, with his help, I passed the code test and the um, technical interview. I, I was able to join the company. And then I spent three months to watch a lot of um, online courses at um, Frontend Master. So I was able to um, pick up um, the, the task and make contribution in the first three months while I was working there. And after that, I left the company and I joined the current um, employer to use um, Angular 9 to build some application. Um, nowadays, I don't use Angular, but I really cherish the opportunity that my good friend like offered me back in 2016. Well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll uh, steal you back into the Angular community. We may have an <laughs> opportunity to use it again sometime soon. Yeah. Don't worry, I still watch like Angular Air every week. You just got to keep those skills sharp, huh? Yeah, I need to. Okay, uh, so what is your favorite thing to nerd out over? What, it's like, what do you like to work on? You said GraphQL, huh? I love GraphQL. Oh, I... Well, currently I'm like using GraphQL to build a back end. Like I I'm learning Spanish and Brazilian Portuguese. So I want to build a back end like with GraphQL that show all the Spanish and Portuguese uh, phrases that I've learned and what they mean in my uh, mother tongue, which is uh, traditional like Chinese. So I'm building a, a back end in GraphQL um, Type all M and and uh, TypeScript. Wow! Uh, and the that front end, I cool. want yeah. And the front end, I I'm thinking of using like Scully, because um, I don't know like Natalia. It's not going to be that friend. dynamic, huh? Yeah, but I want to do something that is similar to Angular. Otherwise, I'll forget like all the cool concepts of Angular. So I want to like build something like small, like with Scully, um, IO. Well, because like. I love Frosty and I love Nat Natalia and she has talked about this like in many conferences and meet up. I'm like, I love them. So I'm going to try Scully and see how I, how I feel about it. I love Natalia and yeah, Sander too. He's a sweetie. Oh, I forgot Sander. Yeah. I love him too. Sander. Yeah. Yeah. Give, it, give him a hug. Give him a hug. Give him I a will. Hug. I will. Yeah. He's really cool. Okay, uh, let me see. What? Okay, so we we talked about what you like working on. What do you not like working on? What's like the worst thing that you sometimes get stuck with? Well, now I'm, I'm doing projects that I really like, but in the past I hated um, to use like oh like legacy technology to build application or or maintain like application that um, that is built with like legacy like epic like technology. So once upon a time, I had to maintain an application like in Java, like six or seven. And then like my boss, like didn't want to upgrade Java to maybe Java nine or 10. I hated that. And then when I hated something, I just, I just um, got up and, and, and left. Like that's, that that's would the, be the same that, answer. Yeah, I would that's give. the time. That's the time I know I have to leave the, this company and look for new opportunity and new company to join. Yeah, I agree. Good answer. Okay, uh, how do you define job satisfaction as a developer? Fame, money, glory? What no. makes you happy, Connie? Uh, well, I'm happy when the epic, like the, when the product I'm building is actually released into production and it's being used by people, like 10 people, 100 people, 1,000 people. And then after that, I get a pat on the shoulder by my boss, like, good job, you've done very well. And I like, and my effort is like appreciated by my peers and my supervisor and the management. That's yeah, why I, I to... go ahead. That's why I want to give a shout out to my friend, Linda Penn. So she's a software engineer who is working at a Mailchimp, and she's also a, the founder of a, an open source project called CodeBuddy, which is a uh, online collaboration platform where people can join Zoom meeting to sh or some like 
other like platform that uh, people can join to share knowledge with each other. She gave she gave me the big break because I, I was able to apply my my front end and back end skill to um, make new features to the platform that uh, is being used by people all over the world. So I want to say say thank you to Linda for having confidence and faith in me. Like a, a nobody from like Hong Kong. I don't even know like how many people know the exact location of Hong Kong. So I want to thank her for having so much trust to a, like a relatively unknown developer in Far East. Well, okay, so shout out to Linda. But I would disagree yeah. that you're unknown because I've known you for a long time. And I think that you've <laughs> yeah. been a really, I, I really think that you would, would count as an official part of the Angular community. I really, I believe that. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, last question. Uh, what are you working on now? What is, what is uh, the next thing for Connie or what are you excited about? Uh, right now I'm working for a company in Hong Kong and we are building a product like an ESG product for like, like NGO clients. So like due to a like company downsizing, I am, I'm working in a team that uses Vue 2, um, Next.js, uh, Postgres and TypeScript. So in the long term, I want to go back to like Angular because um, Angular has so many cool features that uh, Vue, is lacking like route guard and reactive form. Like these are things that I really miss while developing um, application in Vue. So mm -hmm. my consolation is I p push the usage of uh, Nest.js so I get to like work like on back end that has similar concept as uh, Angular. Otherwise, I, I, I don't know if I can stay in the project for like such a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, at least we know that we'll still see you in the Angular community, and yeah. uh, hopefully you'll be working on Angular again soon. And in the meantime, just uh, stick with us, and and yeah. uh, we'll see you. We'll see you soon. I always and I, I always really like seeing you in the uh, in the chat um, yeah. because you just have so much positive energy and you're so supportive. But really, I've been more and more, and especially now that I get to know you more and I've kind of seen you a little bit more, and with Angular Nation. And with the global pandemic, I've really been trying to get people to turn the cameras on more. Um, but the problem is, and we really talked about this uh, last week on Angular Nation, that um, the people in the, I, I call it Asia Pacific region, because it's this whole region of uh, mm -hmm. all these this countries. There's one big, huge country in all the little countries, so I just call it the Asia Pac region. But the time zones are like way off. Because we have the Americans over, then you guys are like opposite. So the time zones are like 12 hours. So it's really hard. So um, yeah. I really, uh, I want to do an event like a, like maybe a weekly hangout that's yeah. earlier. That's like my lunchtime. That's like maybe around this time or a little earlier every day. Um, because I really think that we should see more of you. I think you're yeah. awesome. I think the difficulty to like learn from the like Angular people in the American like in North America is time time so there's so many like meetups that I want to attend but I cannot stay that late to to watch so, so when anger like air was air at 3 a.m. I try to like stay up and watch a few times and then uh, DST like starts then it is broadcast at 4 a.m. I'm like uh, no I'm not gonna stay that late so I have to like watch it like afterward, like Thursday morning, my time zone, and then kind of miss the like Q and A and the interaction. So that's why I always say like if I have money, I will fly to like USA to attend an Angular conference. And my first choice is Angular Denver because I want to meet Freebug like oh, in person. I gotta tell you, Freebug throws the best damn party anywhere because it, like the the conferences are so i mean they're they're kind of smaller i wouldn't say they're smaller conferences because the they have just as many speakers as the big huge conferences but they have less attendees and so and they do that on purpose so that the attendee to speaker ratio is like less so you got mm -hmm. you know less attendees and more speakers but also 
Um, going to speak at Angular Denver was the most fun because the day after the conference, they take the speakers to do like one time we did zip lining, mm-hmm. one time we did snowmobiling. It's like so yeah. much in Colorado. The mountains are just uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you were going to go to a conference in America, I would definitely say Angular Denver. I, I think that's probably one of the only conferences that I would go back to America for. And, and uh, it's, yeah, we yeah. they're super fun, super fun. So I, I think that's a good one. I guess that's the place where like I can meet you, maybe Alyssa and Joe, like Finsta.io. Probably, yeah. I, yeah. I would say if they have another conference. Well, we have to get and through broke. this coronavirus thing. But yeah, yeah, it's not hard to get people to go to, to Denver because it's just so much fun there. I've never uh, been to meantime, Denver. But in the meantime, I've never been to Denver. It's beautiful. Like, it is beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful that I just put my camera out of focus because I was yeah. jumping around so much. I got excited about Denver. Yeah, Samantha and I almost moved there. Um, we were leaving Texas and we were going to move to Colorado. And then at the last minute we pivoted and moved to Europe instead. But Denver is beautiful. And Brie Bug is, yeah. they're really super fun people. So yeah, that would yeah. absolutely be, if I was going to go back, I would go, I would go for the Brie Bug conference. They're super fun. Anyway, yeah. uh, we are going to have a lot of online events. So I hope that we'll see you more. And, and I actually have one uh, that I'm going to do specifically for your time zone. So hopefully, we, because I want you to turn your camera on more because I think you're awesome. But that's all yeah. the time that we have for today. Thank you very much for doing this interview yeah. and answering all my crazy questions. And no, uh, they're it was not really crazy. fun to hang out with you. Uh, thank you for yeah for asking me to do this interview. I mean, I I, I I'm 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 so like shocked and that I don't know I don't have the right word to say. Uh, you put you put it on the calendar when you schedule when we scheduled this uh, meeting today. Uh, Achievement unlocked. Interviewed by Bonnie. I was laughing, yeah. Connie. I was like, I got such a big kick out of that. That was fun, and really? you're fun. Yes, yes. I was laughing. I mean, it was really yeah, funny. Yeah, I just want to emphasize that I, I always feel like I'm a nobody. Like, like in no, the far you're not a nobody. I think you're awesome. I mean, you you have so much, and, and you know. Samantha went through this when she first started traveling to conferences with me and she was hanging out with, you know, Ward Bell and John Papa and all these big people. And she really had like major imposter syndrome, major, major. Um, and and I, I talked to a lot of people that have imposter syndrome and they're like, oh, well, you're up on stage and, you know, da, da, da. and I'm like, but I'm regular. I'm just a normal person like you. And I think really the way to get past that um, is to look at all the people because you've been doing Angular since like the early days, right? And there are so many people who are learning Angular now um, who are just starting to learn Angular because the the the, the uh, popularity has grown so much. There are a lot of people that were that were not paying any attention to Angular um, and now they're trying to learn it. And the other thing also is there are a, not a lot of tutorials that are available in languages other than English. So the fact exactly. that you are so fluent in English and fluent oh, in other you. languages... I mean, I think your English is very good. And then you could work on translating things. Um, you could do even beginner tutorials like there. You have so much to offer. But even without that, I think that just what you've already been doing in the Angular community is just like you always have something nice to say, you know, and I love that. And I think that it's it's really hard. And as you know, you're starting to learn because now you're seeing like you're on camera more, right? It's hard. It's hard to be on camera. It's hard to turn the camera on. It's hard to do a tech talk or get up on stage. It's mm-hmm. terrifying, right? So when we started out and when I started out and I was first starting to do this NG Houston thing, right? I didn't know what I was doing. And it meant so like, I don't know if you realize how much it means. So I have to emphasize too, yeah. that I don't think you're nobody at all, because it really meant a lot to me when I was starting yeah. out to have somebody yeah. say, hey, that was a great episode. And I was just like, I love that person. And that was you. Oh, so you. Uh, I think you're amazing. And I hope that we see a lot more of you in the future. Yeah. I want to thank you again. say that my parents like taught me to see the good and the bad, that or to always see the good in people. That's why I always like find positive from the negative and always able to uh, find words to turn like negative situation around to make people feel better. I hope that I hope you never lose that because I love that. And we need a lot of that these days. We need that, yeah. that positive energy. And uh, I love that about you. So thank you. Thank you, Bonnie.
Uh, I love you and, and and the panelists of Angular Air. We love you yeah. too, Connie. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank we'll you. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Bye. See you maybe Friday. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. Okay. I'll meet tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.